Download Kali Linux 2024.3 ISO, link in the description. Next, create a new virtual machine and configure it to run Kali Linux. Launch VirtualBox Manager and click the new icon. Specify a name, type, and version for the VM then select Next. Select the amount of memory and the number of virtual CPUs to allocate to the VM. The minimum recommended values for Kali Linux are 2 GB of RAM and 1 CPU. Select Next when you finish setting up the VM hardware. Create a virtual hard disk for the new VM. The recommended hard disk size is at least 25 GB. Before starting the VM and beginning the installation process, select the Kali Linux VM and click the Settings icon. Select the Advanced tab in the General section and change the shared clipboard and drag and drop settings to bidirectional. This feature allows the host and the guest machine to exchange files. Select Network from the menu on the left side then change the Attached to Field to Bridged Adapter. Click Start to begin installing Kali Linux. Select the Graphical Install option. Choose the system's default language, which will also be used during installation. Find and select your country from the list, or choose other. Decide which keyboard mapping to use. Create a strong password for the user account.
Select how to partition the hard disk. The default option is guided, use entire disk. Select the disk you want to use for partitioning. The only available option is the disk created during the VM creation. Select the partitioning scheme. The default option is all files in one partition. The wizard provides an overview of the configured partitions. Ensure that the finish partitioning and write changes to disk option is selected. Confirm the choice by selecting yes on the next screen. Select the desktop environment and the tools you want, or click continue to proceed with the default options.
Install the Grub bootloader on the hard disk. Select Yes and continue. Select a bootloader device to ensure the newly installed system is bootable. Click continue to reboot your VM. After rebooting, the Kali login screen appears. Enter the username and password created in the previous steps. 